To what degree does your environment influence the severity of your God? A new scientific study takes a look. Ecology plays a crucial role in any religious worldview, and a new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences takes an analytical look at the link between environmental factors and the relative vengefulness of a culture's angry god. Our earliest deities all revolved around seasonal cycles, cosmic observations, and our hunter-gatherer ancestors' dependence on the often unpredictable availability of prey and wild food sources. And so we turned to the masculine horned gods of the ground and the hunt, we appealed to feminine deities of the sky, spring, and harvest, we built increasingly complex cosmologies to accommodate these entities, and then we passed these on, on up to the modern day. The notion that ecology colors our religious beliefs is nothing new. You'll find it in Fraser's The Golden Bow, numerous contemporary studies, and really any rational mind that contemplates mythology. Religions are almost always rooted in place and in environment and what we do with our place and environment, from the farming parables of Jesus Christ to the holy mountain Kailash in Hinduism and Buddhism. What makes this paper, The Ecology of Religious Beliefs, interesting is its statistical rigor. The team, led by Carlos A. Botero of North Carolina State, evaluated some 583 societies in terms of bioclimatic, sociological, agricultural, and ecological factors, along with such additional factors as political complexity. Their findings? Well, they report that belief in a moralizing high god, we're talking about the sort of deity who floods sinful cities and sends people to hell for transgressions, is more prevalent in societies that practice animal husbandry, exhibit greater political complexity, and have less access to food and water. They also found that variable and unpredictable environments uh, further increase the likelihood of belief in a harsh judging god. Is there an ecologically adaptive advantage to belief in a vengeful god? As dreary as it might seem to the non-believer, does such a shared belief system simply provide a coping mechanism for environmental distress, something to ease anxiety when the earth quakes and the poison arrows fall from the sky and the pillars of heaven shake? I don't know, you let me know. Tell me in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos coming at you.